here, we might as well be for <laughs> Okay, Edendale, hurricane, it's coming. What do we look, got to look forward to this week? I mean, well, what's really fun about the fact that this hurricane traps everyone inside the high school is that tensions between a lot of our characters are also reaching a boiling point. So you have, you know, Drake and Grayson who are stuck under the same roof. And Grayson is basically blackmailing Drake for answers. Um, you have um, Emerson and Emery and Terry, and they're, you know, it's all of their stuff that they're dealing with, what happens when they're stuck under the same roof. You have Eva who's trying to get to the secret of Cypher, and she's stuck in the school with Julia. So, I, I mean, it was the perfect time and place to really stick everyone together. And, right, and for the trailer fans, you know, sadly, like, they, you know, <laughs> we had to sort of, like, take a step back, you know, with, um, Come together in like a nice point, and he's like in the past episode showed her like a more vulnerable side of him. And because of the things that happened during the storm, you know, it's going to be a complication in their relationship. Oh, you're going to be breaking some hearts. We are. We will be breaking some hearts at the end of this episode, but we will. We promise we will stitch them back together in the coming episodes. So they just need to keep hanging in there. Just keep hanging in there. Just keep hanging in there. But yeah, it's a fantastic episode, but it is an emotionally sort of gut wrenching episode for us to work on. <laughs> okay, taking a sideline due to your William Shatner. He's fallen in love with Star Cross. He live tweets the show. It's been so exciting to, as a fan to watch him do this. How has it been for you guys as creators and producers of the show? I mean, maybe. beyond, yeah. beyond, beyond, because, you know, really, he's, he's sort of the grand emperor of sci fi. For him to sort of weigh in, and he's got really interesting, insightful comments on, you know, everything from um, the culture of it, or, you know, recently our. you know, like, what works for him, and he'll even, like, comment on, like, you know, the, the, um, the costumes of our characters, um, and you get into it, and he's also really interactive with the fans, so if you want to get a chance to talk to Captain Kirk, come live tweet Starcross. <laughs> it has been hilarious, but the fan reaction's been amazing on Twitter. Yes, we see you sneaking on here. <laughs> She's here. <laughs> um, but the fans are loving the show. They're really invested in it. Can you, like, give them a shout-out, how, how wonderful it is to have them on board as part of the community for Starcross? We're doing all of this for you, and we're still alive because of you. Yes, thank you for all Thank you so much, and thank you so much also for making us feel like we're not crazy because we love the show so much, and there were some things that we were so excited by, and it was always great to see when an episode airs and people are, like, tweeting about, like, what, you know, what they really love. It's exactly the things that, you know, got she and I excited about the show to begin with. So, yeah, thank you. Okay, now, Matt, let it slip. There might be another big, bad villain on the horizon. What can you tease about that? <laughs> We have a couple of big bad villains on the horizon, and we see everything's amorphous, but it might be somebody that you already know, um, you know, and have seen in a different light. Um, and there'll be like, then there'll be some new characters that are, um, you know, that are, that are alien. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be looking forward to that, and now we're going to look at everybody a little more suspiciously. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's awesome. <laughs>